Hey guys, welcome back to Just Car Rob. Part 2 of the Mushroom Morel Mushroom Guard. Part 2. And we're doing a little bit of work on his eyes. Getting them all shaped up using a little uh, needle diamond burr in the micro motor. Getting that uh, shaped in there. And then we'll be moving on. We ended up uh, gluing a couple pieces of wood on each side. I don't think I showed you guys that. Uh, just glued a couple little pieces of wood on each side to put arms on them. And then I wanted big feet because he kept falling over. So I glued a little piece of uh, board onto the bottom and cut feet in. Which you will see in this video. So you can see we're getting uh, the eyes all shaped in. That kind of stuff. Hey, what did the bee say when he returned back to the hive? Honey, I'm home. Nah, nah, nah. Get it? Honey, bees, bees, honey, bee, honey. Honey, I'm home. Okay. And you can see we're getting that... Uh, we're getting the nose laid in there deeper. We're smoothing off his cheeks. The cheeks. Yep. Trying to get those eyes rounded over a little bit. And get that, uh, get those eyebrows shaped in there. We're just going to run across them with the uh, wood burner. The razor tip wood burner. We'll just run, run, put hairs in with that. These little guys, uh, I found out when I try carving them, they chip out a lot. Uh, especially with this popple, because it is a harder wood. You try uh, using a, a chisel or a V-gouge to cut the eyebrows in, and sometimes they just pop right off. So then you got to go deeper. Deeper! Right, Jordy Johnson over at Carbon Fusion? Carve deeper! All right, so now we are changing over burrs. We're going with the cut saw gold burr. Gold is cut saws fine. Silver is coarse. And of course, the black is extreme. And you can see we're making a little undercut there for his butt. We're giving our little mushroom guy a butt. I don't know why. I have mushrooms don't have a butt, but, 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 that's what we're doing. There's his feet. Well, that was going to be his feet. We changed that whole game up. Changed that whole ball game we did. Yep. Going around undercutting the mushroom cap. Give a little step up in there. Of course, mushrooms don't have feet either. But we uh, see there's the wood. That's bass wood. Uh, we're going to glue that on like that. We're going to give him some arms. Okay, there he is, his arms. The magic, magic of the camera, and poop! Right, Ben? Over at Studio on Lake, poop! There's his arms. And we're back to the Dremel 4000 with the Sabertooth Elongated Flame Burr. Long Flame Burr. And you can see where, uh, see I drew his little, his little flowery feet on there. Now we're going to cut him in. I like this uh, saber tooth burr because it's got that long, long nose on it. For bigger carvings, I like using the Cuts All Extreme Flame Burr. But uh, for these little guys, you know, this guy's only what, maybe th three, three and a half inches tall. Uh, sometimes the Cuts All Extreme Burr is a little bit thick. So this, uh, the saber tooth burr is skinnier. Still pointy. Uh, and it's got that long snout on it. That long pointy snout on it. So that's why we're using that in this situation. Okay. Got any questions? Leave it in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer it. All right. And remember, if you want to save yourself uh, 5%, when you on your next cut saw burr order or shaping disc or whatever, 
Use the code CARVROB in all capital letters. And now we'll get back to our regularly scheduled program of Just Carve Rob Carving on Morel Guard or the Gnome King. All right. Jordy says that we should carve a Mushroom King. I don't think so. Then I have to carve guard gnomes, right? Now we have the uh, Ruby Burr, 330 second shaft, Ruby Burr in the micro motor. I, I get these, these are kind of hard to find. Uh, I get them at mountainwoodcarvers.com, not affiliated. Uh, and they're, they're not cheap, guys. They're not cheap. They're like between, uh, depending on what size you get, they're between 11 and $20. Depend on which ones you want. and I, But I have not found them in the 8th inch. So if you're going to buy them to use in your Dremel, um, you can go on Amazon and get the uh, 330 second collet. If you're using the collet in your Dremel. Get the 330 second collet for your Dremel. You just take the nut off of your flex shaft. The little aluminum collet will pop out of there. You drop the 330 seconds collet in there. Put your little nut back on. You're good to go. If you got two Dremels, set one of them up for a 330 second collet. Set one of them up for the uh, eighth inch collet. Right? All right. All right, all right, all right. All right, Spike? All right. There's a speed. Now we got out the razor tip wood burner. I broke my tip on this guy. The little burning tip. So now I got to make a new one. Gonna make a new one. Put the toenails in, like that, and we'll put little fingernails on them and all that good stuff like that. There. We gave this guy a big smile with some teeth. Give a shout out to uh, Matt Carbs over there in New Zealand. Sean Brooks, pin on fire. And uh, those guys there, make sure you go over to Facebook and check out Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers. It's a great site. A lot of good people over there. A lot of great artists. They'll help you out if you got any questions. If uh, you're just starting to carve, all you got to do is uh, answer the robot's questions. When you go on there and uh, tell them that you're there to carve, you want to learn how to carve. And they will let you in. Uh, okay. It's Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers. And say hey to, say hi to the administrators over there. Uh, Claire and Larry and Larry. All those guys. Chris. Say hi to them. The Carving Fusion Administrators. Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers. Make sure you go over and check out my buddy Jordy Johnson over at Carving Fusion. If you love chainsaw carving or you want to get started on chainsaw carving, uh, go over and check out Jordy Johnson Carving Fusion. Uh, he does a lot of great stuff over there. He's working on a giant wishing well right now. They carved out of a big old log. And we're changing over to the small ruby burr. We we're just using a carbide, carbide mini flame burr. That's what we're using. 330 second shaft. All right. And this is a 330 second shaft ruby burr. Like I said, it. I have not found ruby burrs with the eighth inch shaft. If you guys have a have a supplier. Where you can get them with an eighth inch shaft. Uh, leave me a comment. And let me know where they are. We're back with the wood burner. There we go. We we signed it. But now we're making it darker. And we're putting the year on it. 2022 Rob. Yep. There you go. So this guy. Oh. I poked him in the face. Ah. Oh, look at that. I gave him a scar. He's a warrior. Hey warrior. Won't you come out and play? Yay! You guys remember that movie? Warriors. Anyway. You can see I'm using the uh, wood burner. I've got it turned down. So it doesn't 
burn away all the wood so that we can just cut some little eye lines, eye, eye brows on them. All right, guys, share, subscribe, like, be awesome, carve something awesome, and we will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye. And if you guys have stuck around this long, I might as well show you what they came out looking like all finished. And this is what they look like right here, right here. Yep, that's what they came out looking like, guys. We got a, <laughs> a girl mushroom guard with big feet, and we got a little old man mushroom guard. There's the whole crew. Bye-bye.